or the Star of the Forest, a unique conservation effort is providing home to well over 2,000 animals. The Elephant Rescue Center was uh, something which was built over a period of 10 to 12 years. We have created a forest of 600 acres. You all only saw, because uh, of time constraints, you all only saw about 30 to 40 percent of the Elephant Rescue Center. We have rescued more than 200 individuals from all across India. We have more than 30 veterinarians only concentrating on the elephant care center. I would say we are the biggest elephant hospital in the world. We have uh, entire surgery elephant operation theater, I would call it. We also have uh, x-ray units. We have laser units. We, have, we are endoscopically doing surgeries on elephants. We have a whole nutrition lab with a kitchen for the elephants. We also have enrichment for all our elephants, and we have an old age care center and a disabled care center for the elephants. The, hospital is the initiative by Ambani Family Sky and Anant focuses on rescue, treatment care, and rehabilitation of injured, abused, and threatened animals. Vantara has now been dubbed the Green Belt of Gujarat. Spread across 300 acres in the massive Jamnagar oil refinery operated by the Reliance Industries, the Animal Shelter Initiative is one of its kind. Anand Ambani told Republic that he has been inspired by his mother. I think my mother is my biggest inspiration for philanthropy. I think she herself, like, I am extremely inspired by the work she does and my father also. So I think wedding has nothing to do with the work uh, we are doing for the wildlife. And I'm extremely grateful to the Almighty for giving me the vision and for letting me carry out all this. I think it's all His grace. It's all uh, Lord Krishna's grace and Sri Krishna's grace that He's uh, given us the power to do something like this. I'm sure you must have never seen something like this in the past. One of the biggest draws of Vantara is a one lakh square feet hospital for animals. Uh, this is completely a philanthropic and a passion project it has. And I'm obviously uh, heading our new energy businesses also. And I today we're talking about philanthropy, so we'll keep it to the animal uh, wildlife uh, preserves we are creating and rescue centers and rehabilitation centers we are creating. In this scale, as you know, in a hospital, you always have new technologies. In a hospital, you can't ever plan to not have. So every month, we actually upgrade ourselves. And I think my aim is to do capacity building. So every wildlife vet in India gets the best knowledge, the best training. Every zoo in India, there are more than 150 zoos. I want them to be the best in the world. So that's our aim here. And we try to end suffering of wild animals. There is also a 25,000 square feet hospital which offers herbal medicines for patchy derms. There is even a specially designed kitchen to make food for each of the elephants. Each elephant has its individual diet and uh, the items are organic produce and all of them are from India. We are very proud of it. We have no important food at the moment. Then we prepare the ragilado for them. We have kitchidi in it, but the main basis is green and the green is produced by more than 3,000 farmers here from India. They have a contract with us that we avoid pesticide, herbicide. We check the green each day when it's coming and uh, so the main basis is green. It's uh, millet grass, it's napier grass, it's corn, it's banana trees and so on. Then we have also the kitchidi, even for uh, elephants that lost a little bit muzzle, muzzles, so it is rich in protein, it improves uh, the health status of the elephants. Outside we have an herbal garden, all herbs are from India. Yeah. Vantara even boasts of ferocious big cats such as lions, tigers, leopards and also exotic cats such as jaguars which aren't found even in Asia, let alone India. So as you know we have a team of more than 3000 professionals working for us. We have rescued more than 200 elephants. We have a whole big cat sanctuary where we are rescuing big cats from all across India and the world because we want India to be the centre. As 
India is progressing so much and with the current uh, leadership interested in the forests and how much our government is doing for the forest, I thought as an Indian citizen, we should create something out of the world for wildlife and our aim is to try and save as many as species as possible from bad and from backgrounds where they are tortured, basically, to get them here. The animals at this one-of-a-kind initiative come from zoological parks, circuses and other wildlife areas. I started off as a young child. I started rescuing domesticated animals. And I thought that the need of the hour was to protect wildlife because as you know, many species are becoming extinct. Day by day, we are losing species. So this center here is an animal rescue, rehabilitation, conservation and endangered animal breeding center for endangered species and for wild animals. It's a home to wild animals who have been abused through their life in circuses, in roadside zoos, in zoos with bad conditions, in overpopulated zoos, animals who have been injured in the forest, animals who have had man and human animal conflict. So we have animals rescued from all across and we are also breeding endangered species. Eventually the goal would be to release them back in the wild and that's our main aim and to give a dignified life to the species we have housed here because they come from a very cruel background so just give a dignified life that's a goal when the animals are still traumatized when so we can't animals come first to us so as soon as the animals settle we'll open for uh, human uh, visits and our first priority are animals so we can't tell you a timeline because we, it depends on when the animals get used to it. You saw today also how they were getting. So we do, it's unfair to put the animals in any stress. However, our zoological park, which will be ready soon, I would not want to give you a timeline because uh, we do everything to make it perfect, will be open for the public. Again, it's a completely no-profit uh, venture. It's a complete for education, for wildlife, pro uh, rescue work and our zoological park is going to actually be based on conservation of endangered species and our zoological park should be open soon for the public and everyone from the public all across India and the world will be able to enjoy this. Anand Ambani also spoke about how animals play an important role in Indian folklore and culture. How much ever punya you can gain in life you should do that and I think by helping the animals who have no voice it's something which is extremely important to me and I am a big believer in our religion and I'm extremely religious so in our Sanatan Dharm uh, Ram Bhagwan had Jatayu and he blessed a squirrel something as small as a squirrel was blessed by him Shri Krishna there's a saying, Hati Ghoda Pal Ki, Jai Kanaya Lal Ki. So Sri Krishna always had elephants and uh, horses and he took care of them. Uh, Matarani always rode on a tiger or a lion. And Hanmanji was himself in an uh, avatar of a monkey. And Ganesh is uh, an elephant. So the Ganesh is, so I take inspiration from our Hindu scripts. And I think that Sri Krishna said that Every life is the same, may it be human or animal. So I take a lot of inspiration from our religion and I work towards, because I think that we physically can't see God. But what we can see are the animals. It's all God's creation. And I think by whatever I can do for the ones who I need, I think that's my service to God. The massive 3,000 acre rescue and rehabilitation center mimics the natural, enriching, and green habitat for the rescued species. For my grandfather, Jamnagar was his karma bhumi. For my father, it was his karma bhumi. For me also, it's my karma bhumi. A whole new energy initiative is here. With my dad, the passion for the animals is also here. And as I told you, that this is just the beginning and you've seen for yourselves. And that would be an endeavor that we'll be able to rescue as many as animals as possible and we'll also be able to conserve and protect the endangered species.